Generic greetings and welcome back to Satisfactory where apparently only some of the power plants are working. I'm guessing that is just simply because we don't need all of that. Yeah, we're actually only using about half of what we can produce. That is good. So in the previous episode of Satisfactory, we managed to have a bit of a mess around and change some things in and around the factory. It's sort of odd jobs. We sorted out the steel production, which is over there. So we're now producing steel pipe and the steam, uh, steam, steel girder. Steam girder would not work too too well. It's a little bit too uh, 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 gaseous to uh, really hold anything up. Uh, and we also did a bit of an explore. Uh, I'm just going to double check. Is that called a steel beam? It is. Uh, steel beam slash girder slash whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, you might notice we're not in the same place as where we left off in the last episode. And that's because I went down into that little delve, tried to attack the thing, the game crashed out, and then I died. So uh, that's a thing. So I, t I took the time to come back, get me stuff, and I've been doing a lot of odd jobs in and around the factory. I'm just going to double check this just to make sure that we are needing, yes, modular frames and mortars okay so I did a couple of odd jobs around the factory and just some tedious stuff so I sorted out the coal supply for the uh, the generators and that's because it was only using the mark 1 miners as well as the uh, the tier 1 belt so upgraded that to a mark 2 miner and tier 2 belt which means we've got a proper coal supply same thing for the coal supply over at the steel area, and that's because there was a couple of those belts that were tier 1 rather than the 2, so I sorted that out, so throughput's good. Also re-recorded both routes because they weren't stopping enough at each of the truck stops, so they weren't either loading or unloading enough, so again, sorted that out. And then just uh, had a just general mess around in the factory. Also changed a couple of bits up in the centre, so we're now producing more screws. Or Also, I managed to get uh, another two or three hard drives, so we now have all the plans for things like screws and um, things like I'm not going to use those because uh, that actually makes screws directly from the uh, from the iron ingot, but it's not as efficient. Uh, it, you actually get double if you do the way we're using it. So even though it would save us power and space, it's um, not something we're going to go ahead and do. It's still not 100% uh, resource efficient. It's not like a one-to-one, a -one, just on time processing sort of thing, but uh, close enough. You can see I've uh, done a bit of a bodge job here to get some more screws into this to produce more reinforced iron plate because, quite frankly, we really do need it. Uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do is go over to here. I'm going to pick up all of that because I want to move over and dump that in the in the um, space elevator because that is our really our main goal now, and it's to produce the uh, the reinforced um, the reinforced. Uh, girder type things. I keep forgetting them. I've just read it out. Uh, modular frames, that's the one. So we need to produce the reinforced um, plate and then go to the modular frames, which we're now doing. We also need to produce mortars. Now, mortars require stators and they require rotors. Um, yeah, so mortars require rotors and stators. And that's okay because we can produce one of those and indeed have been producing some of those. So there's um, a half of those, or just over half, so 350 in there uh, put in. So we need to produce mortars. So in order to produce that, we need to build a couple of things. So if we place an assembler down, we can't because I've just took the resources out of my pocket, which I need because that's the sort of day this is going to be. Uh, <laughs> we need to produce uh, the stators and the uh, the rotors. Now, the rotors we are already producing. Indeed, we have got a fair few in this box over here. We'll probably have this almost full, I would imagine. Uh, no, it's uh, not full, but it's only uh, 15 off, so that's pretty good. I think we're producing pretty much all we need there. Let me just pick up that because I'm going to need it, and then I'll pick up them as well. We're not producing a great number of these modular frames, but I'm hoping to fix that later on at some point when we find some more plans. But anyway, we've got enough going. Um, in order to make the uh, the mortars, as I said, we need to uh, use an assembler. So I'm going to place this assembler here, and we can see that we need to make rotors, uh, which we have an alternate for, but we're not going to use the alternate. We're just happy using the rotors. Um, if we were going to use the alternate, we'd probably redesign this entire lot, which is something I probably wouldn't do in an episode because it would be quite a task. Anyway... Today's beverage is a nice cup of uh, green tea. So we've got the alternate stator, which requires quick wire as well as the pipes. Now, in terms of quick wire, if I uh, do my scan here, we can see that um, when we scan, there's going to be some over there and then some over there. The closest is over um, there, is it? Yeah, over there. Um, the problem is that the one over there has got a huge rock on it, and there's nothing you can do to remove the rock as far as I can tell. And then there's one over there which I haven't got to, so we could feasibly do that to uh, produce the alternate status, but that means gathering more resources that we don't have and all that sort of stuff and more trucks. However, state as a standard requires three steel pipes, well we are producing that, and ten wire, and we're producing that also. So the steel is over there, and the copper is over there, and that is our problem, because we need to get resources from here 
up to there or coming down. Now, I'm, I reckon it's going to go up there because in order to produce a mortar, um, it's all that sort of stuff anyway. So bringing these resources up there is probably going to be the best way of doing it. But the problem with that is it, as you can see, it's quite a distance. So how are we going to do it? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to use this here and the rotors over there. We're going to bring the rotors back through here, join it up with this one here. We'll have a two stack of the belt and then we're going to do a spiral up there and then along. And that's probably the most resource efficient way that I can think of at the time but almost certainly I've got it wrong so let's just see what we need this is using 45 wire a minute for a total of um Oh no, actually it's 45 each, so that's fine. Um, what we can do then is combine these two into one tier 2 belt. That will allow a decent throughput of 90 because for our... Hang on, let's check this thing. For our assemblers and rotors, they require uh, 60 a minute, so ideally we want 120. So um, can we do that? Is this wire as well? Uh, this is wire, so actually we'll connect all three of these together. Um... And it'll actually be more than we can carry, but it'll leave some surplus in here, which is fine. So connect all these three up under one belt, which is 120 a minute, over to there, and then spiral up. And then the same for the rotors over here. So let's get on with that. Now, obviously, this sort of thing is going to be a fairly big task, but um, we'll do what we can. Also, because I'm placing it around here, it's probably going to block a lot of stuff, which is really annoying, but... Uh, needs most. I, I, I did think about going over there and then taking it across, which is what I've done in a different playthrough. Um, not on the channel, just on a single player. Um, and it has worked. It was just a bit of a faff on. And also, I took it along there as well and bridged across, and that was not something I w wish to do again. So from here, it's going to come out and around. So I'm going to go ahead and place... Um, actually what I need to do, probably, uh, sort my inventory, what's, uh, I think we don't actually need any more space, to be honest with you. Um, so, we'll go for the, uh, logistics, and I want this conveyor pole stackable, and I've just realised I don't have the plates that I need, so we'll just press 9 on that one, put it on there, and then we'll go and pick up some, uh, more iron plate, which we should have a fairly decent supply of. In fact, one of these boxes, I'm, ow, uh, should be full, not this one on the, uh, right, because I think we're actually on a deficit it for that one but there you go and there's my uh, pockets uh, not filled so you know what we might as well go for some more and we also will need some concrete which I do have on there but we've also got some concrete over uh, on the left hand side anyway so just through these belts and whoa maximum speed going through there so from here we will take it out and then along now this can go on the ground it doesn't have any problem doing that however I'm probably going to put it there and then raise it up and then move it across the reason for that quite simply is just because it'll make it look um, different so we know like what it is um, I don't want to mess around with it too much I'd rather get it on this bit here and then go from there and I think because it's going to be annoying otherwise um, I'm going to put that on 9 that on 8 and that on number 4 and then we can quickly switch between 4 and uh, 4 and 3 now this is going to have to be only roughly in line and I do stress roughly we're not worried too much about the straightness of it there we go it likes to connect to the other side for some reason and we're going to curve it around you see and then I want it to sort of sneak past all of this giving it enough clearance so it doesn't smack into the machines but inevitably that will probably happen anywhere um, and you have to be careful when you are uh, working out the distance here because these can't go too far because they don't have um like struts that can connect to. Now that's gone into there fine, however I think I actually want to remove that and instead I'm going to place it on the next tier. And the reason for that is because these ones are the ones that are going to be coming on and joining on to the bottom because those need to go up as well. So, um, that's that set up. We'll go over to, is it uh, a merger? It is a merger. So a merger will put the output in, um, actually the output can go right lined up with that there like so that's perfectly acceptable um actually i'll just move it in because um quite frankly it's a, uh, the resources that we have to build this are really at a premium uh that's a bit better so there's that there's that and there's that okay so there's all of the wire going in there now these belts just to remind myself as much as yourself 
120, but we're producing um, for 12. We've got 15 over, so it doesn't really matter. It'll still be fine. Um, that'll connect up to there, although it does look a bit garbage, so we'll do that instead. And um, there you go, that's much better. So now we have the two resources that we are going to need. We're going to need the copper cable and the rotors. And just to make sure I'm not spending all of this time, uh, well, and wasting it rather, let's just double check. Stators require the... Um, the copper cables which is coming along now as well as the pipes which are up the top and then the motors require the rotors which we're bringing now and the stators which will build up there so this is correct I'm still gonna be doubting myself constantly but hey ho right so from here we will align that to make sure it's um, well aligned I guess uh, and it will go over to about there and then it will go over to um, it really depends uh, how we're going to bring that up. Well, probably about there should be acceptable. I generally say do the top. Oh, actually, that's right. Yeah, we need to double stack this. My mistake. Double stack one and then two. And this is using some concrete, but I do have some um, over on the over near the space elevator. I think. Ooh, that's very close. There we go. And we've already used over a hundred of the uh, reinforced stuff. Uh, this is where we've got our concrete coming in here, as you can see, and it is just completely full, so I'm going to take two bags of that. So that needs to go up there. Now, this is going to be um, <laughs> not an easy task. The question is, do I want to bring it up to this ledge first and then spiral up? It could probably work. It'll probably work, but it will require us to uh, build some foundations. Not that that is... An issue you understand, but let's just work on the principle of um, it being sort of level in and around there. Um, so that should be fine. Um, we'll go along to there, and obviously we'll build a pathway up and such as well because, well, we might as well really. And then one there, one there, one there, and quite frankly, because we have the resources, why won't it place there? It will place there. I have a feeling that it's not going to... Oh, no, it is going to place there. That's fine. And you don't need to do this. There's no, like, tension that's simulated in the game, so things can snap. It doesn't work that way. In fact, the only game that I know that does that is um, Medieval Engineers. Um, so, I'm sure there's others. So this is where we bring it up, and then we spiral up from here. We're basically going to nerd pull it up, I believe is the technical term. Used to do in Minecraft. Back in day. So, also the advantage of it being on here is that it snaps, so we don't have to worry about too much stuff. So we can place that pretty much in the centre there. Yep. And then we place the other one in the centre there. Now the question is, will these spiral? So let's just do a bit of a test. So from number say, uh, from this one here, it'll come up and around. It is um, is that right? Because we'd have to go from there to there, and then there to there. Yes. Yeah, so it's not long enough. Okay. Now we know. You don't know until you know. Uh, we could probably bring it up closer to the edge of that. So, along here. Hoping that's okay. Um, we might be very, very close to that rock, though. So, if I came from there. Or to there. And then into there. Oh, we have to going to do two, two stacks. We might have to do two. Hmm. Don't know what the best solution would be. Invalid shape. Yeah, it definitely is a bit invalid. <coughs> just, just go up. <laughs> I'm guessing eventually they'll put um, elevators in, but who knows? It can go any which way it wants. It's its own game. Um, okay, different plan. Starting from here. 
What we'll do is we'll place one. Actually, we won't place it there because it's a bit too close. Place it in the middle of there. In the middle of there. And then, middle of there. And there. Now that should be okay. I'm sure you can do it with double. Just, just two of them, but... Can't for life me figure it out. So that one to there. Which goes up. And then up. Yeah, and then the one there would pretty much do the same thing. Yeah, and it would spiral up like that. Okay. We could probably do that. We can also fall off stuff. We're very, very competent in, in that sort of thing. Um, so from there, can we bring those resources into here? Because if we can start them here, that'll be Belton. <laughs> Belton, do you get... <laughs> right, so that into there. That into there. Good start. All right. Um, and we could just go up by two. Like, really push it vertically. Um, I don't think there's any reason why we couldn't. I have no idea what sort of height this is going to be. This is the disadvantage of not pre-measuring things. Okay. Um, I'm guesstimating they're about the same height now. There are ladders on the side of this, so you can go up. And... Close. Close. Oh, well, I need to do this one now. Huh. Yep, that's good. <gasps> the game likes to fling you off stuff when you get off ladders. It just sort of... You get a little hop. And it's terrifying. Right, what's more terrifying is coming down a ladder in this game. Although, that seemed to work out. The ladders in this are akin to the ones in Medal of Honor Allied Assault, um, which was pretty much the deadliest thing in that game in multiplayer. Uh, right, uh, so that can go up by... Um, two. Okay, like that. And then from there... Ooh, careful now. Actually, no, we will go from the top one. Um, we'll pretty, pretty much put it as high as possible. I think that's only going up by one, is it? Can't quite tell. But we'll make it go as much as we can. Um, very difficult to gauge the height at this point. I think that's about right. I think I better be up here to do this. Um, uh, meant to do that. <laughs> Just getting a bit of perspective. <laughs> if you believe that, you believe anything. Right, from there up to... This is not going to work. Right. Should have done the bottom one instead, shouldn't I? Hang on. Can you do it while on a ladder? You can't do it when you've got no ankles, that's for sure. Um, is that even going up? I... Can he tell, Captain? Uh, actually, it does look like it's going up. Uh, Alright, okay. And... Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Um, Well, this situation is suboptimal. Because I'm stuck. Oh, it's kicked me off. It's alright, we'll land on the belt, we're fine. <clears throat> right, can I just sneak onto the ladder on the side? No, okay, right. Just, just eat some of these ankle healing nuts. There we go. Um, and then we'll go back up. <laughs> and what? See that little hop it does? That, that terrifying. Right, okay, so from here again. Um, actually, we need to be all across, don't we? Oh, I actually made it right across. So from there, we go up by two. Yeah, and then I think it's just up by a couple more and we're there. One, two, uh, yes, I think we all need to be up by one, don't we? It's actually easy to be stand, do it standing here and doing it, so from there. 
Yeah, that's fine, I think. Does that go up? So quite difficult though, to see what the deal is with that. Yeah, it does, yeah. Sweet. And then it's... Um, Mm. I'll go up. I'll, I'll follow convention. I'll follow convention. Bye. <gasps> oh, God, no. Ow. Right, that should be... Is that up? Ah, hang on. We've made a massive mistake here. <laughs> Royal we. I have made a massive mistake here. Is that better? That's better. I was wondering... I thought it looked a bit dodgy. Uh, it's pretty good just how far you can build <laughs> away from. <laughs> um... So, I think that's about right. If it's not, it doesn't matter because it's not going to get changed. So, there's the end of that topic of conversation, I guess. I'm not going to start polishing the chrome if the thing doesn't even work. So we're going to use our new uh, vertical travel solution system to get right up the top here. Uh, it's very easy and indeed efficient and safe to get up here. Getting down on the other hand has always posed a bit of an issue. Um, so in terms of our um, resources then, oh, it's practically just straight on. <laughs> and there we have it. That is our supplies up here. That was actually a lot easier than I originally envisaged. I can get rid of that, can I? Yeah. Can I get rid of that bit? Uh, I might be able to, but... Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Right, so we just need to bring those resources over to there. So let's just continue on then. I'm going to skirt them along the side here. I don't see any reason why we can't. Um, the only... Advant or the only disadvantage really is that we're not taking a direct path. But, considering that we're probably going to be using a lot of this um, plateau for building, we really want to save all the space we can. And have it just run along the edge here isn't exactly a problem, is it? Or maybe it is. Uh, you know, comments in the comments. <laughs> so that'll go to there, and then it just needs to bring it over to there. Um, is that too far? It's going to be just on or just off? Oh, we're fine. Obviously we're going in now, but that's because we are... Uh, running along the side of it here. And the cliff comes in as well. And there we go. There are our resources up here. So, it's just a matter now of building the... Building the right machines and figuring out what we need. So, let's have a look at our assemblers. We want to make uh, mortars in the long term. Um, it requires 20... Well, it's going to be based, I guess, on the rotors and stators. Now, as you can see there, the stators is, uh, requires 10 a minute. But how many are we producing? Well, at the moment we're producing none, but if we were to be producing these things, it requires um, 18 steel pipe a minute. Well, each of these factories produces 15 from memory. Correct, 15. So, we could realistically have, um, oh, we can't, um, 
that's a problem. We can only... It, it, this is going to be based on wire then, isn't it? Um, because we can only have... Well, we, well we, we can't only have, but we do only have about 100, well, 220 wire coming up here. So we can only have two of these on the go, which basically means that it's a... Uh, yeah, it's two of these. It's two of these followed by uh, one of those overclocked slightly. Right, that's that set. That means that we've actually got a. It's we're actually limited by the copper that we're bringing up there, but we're also sadly being limited by the belts. That's the problem now. That actually the belts here are the issue. That these are only uh, 120 a minute, so we need faster belts to be able to do that, or more belts. But I don't fancy running another line of copper. So next episode, then we'll go ahead and sort that out. So we'll be producing motors hopefully by the end of that one. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.